What's up guys, Ender Known here. I am back for episode 10 of my text-based adventure C Sharp tutorial. Today, in the spirit of the holidays, we are going to be working with time and dates and stuff. So we're going to start by going into our encounters tab, or class file I guess technically, and particularly down at the bottom for our get name function, we're going to be changing the names of the enemies based on, well, if it's Christmas time or not. Generically, not specifically Christmas Day. So time is actually surprisingly simple to work with in C Sharp. So we got to get an instance of date time. Time is going to equal date time that now. It sounds so demanding. It's like now. Anyways, and then we're going to run an if statement. So if time month is equal to twelve, so December. Uh, and time to day is greater than 20, greater than equal to 20. This is what we're going to consider as like our Christmas event time. So, but now actually, this might be noted that in a game, this if you're going to use this time multiple places, you'd probably want to make a function for that, which would be as simple as. Uh, public static bool is Christmas. Um, uh, and then copying this, what we wrote up there. Uh, and also I need the time. So I guess this is probably the more convenient way to do it. Return true. And else return false. You don't actually need the else here because returning is going to exit this uh, function or stop it. So this actually works just fine. So, yeah, I guess this is probably a better way to do it. Uh, if you're going to use the Christmas event over and over again, which we probably will for the sake of this video. Uh, then I'm going to just come up with some silly names here in just a second. So I guess then it's if is Christmas. And if that is true, then I'm going to make another switch statement. And we're just going to put this in an elf else block. Although technically, again, we don't really need to because uh, of the whole return thing. So, yeah, redundancies. Yay. So, switch. And then I'm just going to do probably another four. Of course, you guys can add in your own creative stuff to this as much or as little as you'd like. Uh, so, yeah, this shouldn't take me too long so we'll have a deranged elf we will have uh, vicious Santa a I don't know what's another Christmas thing I, I had a couple of them came up, or I came up with a couple of them. I guess we'll do a frosty snow golem. Then I had one more. Vicious Santa. Oh, yeah. Uh, enraged reindeer. So, yeah, I guess just some silly names for Christmas enemies. Uh... Yeah, so that would be all we need to do. And I guess for... I, I don't know. That's kind of really it with time. I'll show some more examples here. Or some possibilities, but we're not going to actually use them for the sake of the program. It's just if you guys want to branch off. So I guess we could use, we, we still could use that. I'll just go down to is Christmas. This isn't relevant to the function, but um, T 
teaching stuff. I don't know. So, like, time millisecond gets the millisecond. A lot of this stuff is pretty obvious. Uh, time dot day, hour, there we go, minute, oops, don't want to select all that stuff, mm, year, that, that, really not too much to time, so, yeah, <laughs> mm. So I guess the last thing we'll do is we'll add another instance of the uh, check to see if it is Christmas up at the top here. Because if it is, then we're going to have combat with, uh, I don't know, Santa, Santa. I, what's a good title for Santa that's... Why did I put string down? I have no idea. Uh, Santa... Gift Mage? I don't know. Elf Mage? That sounds odd. I'm just gonna put Santa. Uh... Power is going to be... I don't know. Three. And health is gonna be... Four... Five? Six? You guys can figure out what's balanced. I don't know, for actual game. And then, if not, we're just, so like, all the other times of the year, we'll just fight, uh, Dark Wizards. Okay, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. There's not a whole lot to time. Uh, I'm going to go test all this stuff. Okay, so, yeah, we got the, uh, Christmas-themed Santa. See a tall man. Okay, we might have to go change that. Santa. Yeah. Over the Santa. <laughs> okay, that actually doesn't sound very good. As you stand v victorious over the Santa, its body dissolves into coins. Okay, well that's just dandy. Uh, a hulking beast, a deranged elf, well, very hulking, uh, yeah, so, okay, Santa again, Santa's gonna kill us here, that would actually be kind of funny, I don't want to fight deranged elves, I want to fight, this is a demon, yeah, okay, there we go, enraged reindeers, and Santa. Again. The vicious Santa. So I guess the vicious Santa is weaker than just Santa. I mean, that makes sense. No, it really doesn't. Uh, Frosty Snow Golem. Okay, I think that was all of them. So, yeah. And heal. I'm running out of potions. Oh dear. Anyways, yeah, so that works and is interesting, <laughs> to say the least, I guess. Uh, yeah, so again, with I, I'm kind of just showing you some abstract concepts. Expand on this. It's always cool to see what people have come up with. Hmm. Or hear what people have come up with. It's like, I didn't do a whole lot with time, but you could check, you could change all of the, like, um all of the flavor text like you see a large man hovering over uh a plate of cookies and milk uh i, I don't know he slowly turns you see santa etc i i don't know you guys can be more creative than i can in the sense that uh i have to come up with stuff Kind of on the fly. I don't really script my videos, as is quite obvious. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and have a very Merry Christmas. I will be back either next week or depending on what I am busy with.
I might take a week off. I don't know. We'll see. If you guys have suggestions, my suggestion list is getting quite low. So, yeah. Always love to hear it. Thank you guys for watching. Ender out.